Hello friends, welcome back. I'm talking about kettlebell technique and how these things can make your life easier around the gym and out of the gym. It got me thinking about this based off of a workout we did here today at the gym. The hip hinge is a movement that you're going to incorporate in a lot of different things while you're working out. Power cleans, deadlift, kettlebell swings, push presses. All these things rely on a very strong base in the hip hinge movement. Therefore, kettlebell swings can be your best friend for making your exercise life a lot more enjoyable. <laughs> All right, slight change of plans. It's actually the next day. I ended up eating dinner, getting a shower, and watching RoboCop and falling asleep. So here we are today. What we're talking about today specifically is how kettlebell swings, kettlebell technique, proper kettlebell technique that is, all these things can make your exercise experience much more better. The reason why I say this is because the kettlebell is like this perfect marriage between power and strength force production, cardio, all these things have to be pretty well aligned in order to be executed safely. Not to mention just being safe, but if you want to be an efficient mover in the exercise world and in the gym, everything has to be pretty dang tight to a certain extent. Every time I teach someone how to do kettlebell swings in general, if they tell me that they know how to do kettlebell swings, Honestly, I'll just let them do a few and then we'll see how it looks. Almost every single time, the, the kettlebell swings look like squat swings. They're like squatting and coming up, squatting and coming up. And I think there's two reasons why they end up looking like this in the beginning. Most of the time, our bodies are doing very quad dominant type movements. We sit in office chairs, we sit in cars, we sit on our ass most of the day, especially if we work in an office and we kind of stay in a cubicle for most of our work time. So it kind of makes sense for us to use the muscles that get the most use throughout the day. Take a break, done, take a break. Because our bodies are used to using the front parts of our legs, that's what our body wants to do because it's familiar. We've repeated it over and over for most of our lives. Another reason is because we can kind of get away with doing these squatty type of kettlebell swings to a certain extent and maybe to a certain type of weight. We as humans are not used to using our hamstrings and our glutes to get work done. So this is where if we have developed some quad strength and we have no hamstring strength, we're not going to default to the, mu the muscle pattern that makes more sense and is more efficient. We're going to default to the movement pattern that just makes sense to us because we've been doing it for most of our lives. Our hamstrings are capable of being much larger muscles, therefore have more potential for being much stronger muscles. So you have to defer to a weaker movement pattern in the beginning to develop some consistency and strength to be able to do a kettlebell swing properly. This is why I think kettlebell swings will help you be a more functional human being and make your exercise experience way more enjoyable, productive, efficient, and safer. If kettlebell swings make you nervous because they're kind of a dynamic movement, then I would suggest maybe implementing some glute bridges into your physical practice. You can do these body weight. You can just really accentuate the glutes and the hamstrings while laying down on the floor and doing a few reps. If you want to make these a little more difficult, you can use some sort of a weight. You can put a kettlebell on your hips, you can put a dumbbell on your hips, and you can squeeze nice and tight to get some added resistance. Another very effective way to do this is like barbell hip thrusts and barbell glute bridges. I specifically don't do these because I think these have been permanently paired to every Instagram booty girl's personality. All you see is 
hip thrusts, glute bridges, and other sort of exercises that make their cheeks kind of the main focal point of whatever they're trying to put forth. Even if they're doing back and bys or triceps and delts, their ass is always in the center of the shot. So if you really want to do some barbell glute bridges, have at it, but honestly, I'm just gonna deadlift. I'm just gonna do heavy kettlebell swings. Here's one last caveat to this whole type of thought process. You have to be okay with feeling a little weaker and a little less confident in a certain movement pattern in order to grow that into a very confident and productive movement pattern where you feel strong and efficient. If you want to do better hang power cleans, kettlebell swings are the best foundation to build upon. Getting your hips back behind the bar to be able to accentuate the power in your hamstrings and your glutes is the best way to make sure your Olympic weightlifting gets better and better. Your hamstrings have the potential to be so much bigger than your quads. This is why they have so much more potential in producing more power and strength. So getting your butt behind the bell with a proper hike pass and coming up to the top, that's going to turn you into a more efficient human being. If you got any value out of this video, hit the like button, subscribe, tell me what you're working on currently. If you have any questions about kettlebell stuff or exercise, nutrition stuff, this is what I do for a living. I've been doing it for my main source of income for quite a few years now. I'm the owner of CrossFit Gallatin and this is what I get to do basically every day. You can hit me up on Instagram with questions and inquiries like this. I am who is John Harris basically everywhere. I encourage you to stick around for the next one because we're not just talking about kettlebell stuff, we're talking about why we make decisions the way we make them, what kind of you know, social circle are we integrating into our success plan, removing people, getting new people, are our jobs and other relationships in the way of us making progress. I like to think about and talk about these things. So stick around if you so choose. I will see you in the next one.